I'm now in Primrose Hill, um, just about to go to a client's house. But I've got like my kit with me, and then I've got my laptop, and then I've got my bag. Um, I'm not travelling light today at all. Um, I've got such a weird day today. I've got like clients. I've got a shoot with a magazine, and then I'm doing podcast. Um, then I realised that I actually need to have a haircut maybe, and at some stage get a beard trim because I'm so bad at trimming my own beard, and then pack for Vietnam, and then also edit more videos, and so I'm a bit like, I don't think there's enough hours in the day for me today. What do I prioritise? I am, however, loving how gorgeous it is today. Oh. Can we just take a minute to recognise um, how perfectly poached my eggs are with kale and avocado this morning? Oh, I'm now on my way to Heathrow to go to saint -Tropez. Um because being in London just doesn't seem good enough for me at the moment, so I am travelling. I ran into my landlady earlier. She was like, I can't, I can't get my head around how much you travel. She says it's mental. Um, but I have the art of packing hand luggage down to a T. Um, it's such a nice day in London today, blue skies, I feel super happy. And, you know, je parle petit français. Um, or should I say bonsoir, because I am now in Saint-Tropez. Um, thought I'd give you a little tour of my bijou room um, before I go down to dinner and show you the banging lobby in this hotel. So here is my bed. Don't even get me started on these stripes on the walls. Um, but hopefully it's nice and comfy. Ironing. God knows I hate a crease. Wardrobe. Clothes always hung. Separate bathroom. Sink. A few toiletries, that'll be me. And then, oh, okay, this, oh, this looks, this looks good. Oh yeah. This is massive. What? That's me. There's room for about 50 elephants in here. Well, maybe not 50, that'll be tight, please. Uh, lol, look at this lobby. Um, jellyfish on the wall. Moving glass lifts. And a golf ball. Cool. I totally think I ever did it on the makeup tonight. Jellyfish! <laughs> Where am I? Oh, whoever was in the lift before me stung. Look! It's actually kind of cool. I'll walk you through in a minute. Hang on, just a second. So a little lounge area. Bar. I think that's a seat. And then actually from here, it's totally amazing. It's pretty cool for a lobby. Um, I love these like, tall men here. It reminds me of the place that um, I was in with Lindsay Lohan in Mykonos. Um, you'll have to see that vlog when I go to Greece because that hotel's like that. Oh, and this is what I'm wearing tonight. Russell and Bromley loafers, Zara of Death jeans, a Uniqlo shirt and some old bomber from H&M winner. It's not a bad view, is it? Yeah. Oh, bonjour Saint-Tropez. Dying for these nautical shoes. Holy cow. So today I've only got about half an hour in San Tropez um, to, like, to have a little look round. I have been interviewed by a journalist on tanning trends and then I'm on a flight and I'm back to London. Um, so I'm just pottering about now, having just soaking up some of the uh, Francais and yeah, just the temptation to have a rosé is belief, but I'm desperate to do a sugar detox. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I hate that feeling. <laughs> Practical footwear, as always. I've only gone and got myself a bit lost, haven't I? Um, I've obviously shopped, um, but Sandra Bay is so cheap. Like, there's lovely um, squares and lots of people having lunch, which just made me realize how hungry I am. I think I could eat, I don't know, that's probably a French child, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I've just, just had a nice little like, trot round, looking at everything, and just soaking in this gorgeous bit of France. Also, let's just take a moment to talk about the yachts. Holy hell, that is life goals, if ever I've seen one. Even the green grocers is chic, I mean, what? I literally couldn't justify buying one of these, but these are the chicest bags ever, but I just think I have so many now. Um, 
loving this store. Literally, just look at all this loot. Also, desperately wanted to buy these flamingo cups, but I just don't think I can get them in my luggage, which is so annoying. How chic are they? And don't even get me started on this bottle opener. I'm totally lost, but I guess um, I guess that's what life's all about. When this is the entrance to your lunch venue, chic. <laughs> Yum! Grilled soul! Oh, we just had um, the loveliest lunch at this restaurant. I actually have no idea what it's called because when you're on trips, you just get in one car, get out, eat, get in another car, do the... So I'll find out and I'll put the name in the link below, but it was chic. Not as chic as the ocean though. <gasps> Everyone was having little bits of rosé, but I'm trying not to drink at the moment because I'm working all weekend and I didn't want to be on my own on a flight having had wine at lunch. Like, <laughs> the restaurant was just by the sea though and all the tables were outside and I was like, oh, I'm totally made for coastal living. But now I'm in, um, I'm in the car and I'm on the way to the airport because I have to fly back get to London and just get ready for the TV BAFTAs this weekend. God knows when I'm going to pack for um, Vietnam. God knows when I'm going to tan myself. Um, I also could really do with a haircut. Don't know when that's going to happen. I think I'm going to really enrich the art of winging it this weekend. In 15 minutes. Okay. Okay? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Darling. Hi. God. Um, <laughs> I guess the last two days have been totally mental. Um, the TV BAFTAs, which is a massive red carpet event in England, is tomorrow and so Friday and Saturday today. Um, I have literally just been back to back with clients. Now, I went in to get a in-car tripod. They didn't have any in stock. Amazon was not showing the right ones. I've got to somehow weigh my camera and work out what the right um, tripod is, which is why I haven't got one. God, my nose is itching. Oh, lucky I didn't put um, any of the space mask there. Huh. I've just been driving around London like a madman, um, tanning loads of celebs. Now, obviously I can't film when I'm driving. Obviously I can't film naked boobs on a celebrity. So it's just been a very minimal filming week. And I've never filmed a weekly vlog while I'm trying to do the TV BAFTAs. Um, I've had, I'm looking down at my feet, I've had shoes on today that have ch clearly transferred black dye onto my feet and they look gross. Um, and after I've done loads of spray tans today, the last thing I want to do is actually spray tan myself, but this old boot's going on the red carpet tomorrow so I need to look half decent. I've also got to iron my outfit tonight um, and I'm kind of packing for Vietnam. By packing, I mean just like laying things on the side and hoping for the best. Oh, this face mask is tightening. Great. Had a little haircut um, and kind of went back into the lilac purple um, dye, which isn't showing up great in this light, but I love my hair nice and short. I also had a beard trim today, which you can't see, but the beard trimmer, the guy was like, um, oh, when you get your hair cut. I was like, yesterday, he was like, you want another cut today? I'm sorry, what? You, I, I just told you I had my haircut yesterday. Why on earth would I want another haircut today? Oh, you know, I thought I could do a better job than previous hairdresser. I'm pretty happy with my haircut that I've got. I love my hairdresser. Um, absolutely no way am I cheating on him. Just cut my bloody beard. Face mask getting really tight, hence minimal expression. This is probably what it'd be like if I had loads of work done on my face. I'd be like, I oh, well, I can still make one brow. Maybe I'll just... If I ever get something done, maybe I'll just make sure that I can move this for expressive chat. <laughs> can anyone else move any muscles on their face? Oh, I can do this with my tongue. Hi, I'm just letting my moisturiser sink in, so this is going to be a bit of a naked vlog. Um, and I've got the washing machine on. I realised that my beach bag for holiday really needs washing, and I was like, 
better get it in pronto. Um, and I was like, I can't wait for this washing machine to finish. Well, then when is it going to finish soon? 12 minutes, but, you know, I'm a busy boy. Um, this morning, today is TV BAFTAs, um, and I'm also trying to pack for my holiday. I haven't really got much food in, so you know when it comes to breakfast and you're like, I'm going to have to wing this. So I'm having like coconut yoghurt with um, like spelt flakes and nuts and goji berries and bee pollen. Sounds incredibly fancy, but actually like it's literally just what's in my cupboard. On yoghurt, I really hate the flappy bit like this, the bit that sticks around the edges. Oh, it makes me feel so gross. Like my brother can lick a yoghurt lid and then eat all the flappy bit or the flange and I'm like, Oof, no, it's weird. But I did start my day today listening to this belter. Um, I've decided to make a 90s playlist on my Spotify. Once it's all done, perhaps I'll show. This was her best, totally. Also, this is my friend's um, RSVP to her wedding, and she says, uh, please request songs for our big day, so I... <laughs> I requested Christine Aguilera Dirty, and then Javeen, real things. Hashtag throwback. She's gonna hate me. <laughs> um, excuse any backbeats that you can hear. I am having the most incredible day ever. Um, this morning I started, I feel really pale, let's move this way. Um, this morning I started by going and tanning um, Mel from Mel and Sue. If you're English you'll know who that is. Um, big comedian and presenter and literally one of my idols since I was about eight years old. And she just was the most incredible person. You know when an idol actually lives up to being an idol and you're like, so amazing. We had so much fun, we laughed loads, it was epic. And then I've just got in a cab and I've just had one of the most emotional journeys. This cab driver's like, I was just feeling really down, then you've got in the car and I'm feeling really happy and positive. We're talking about reading The Secret, we're talking about um, different types of books and leading your life in a really positive and emotional way and knowing what you want from life and always being happy. And it was like one of those it's a weird moment where you feel, I sometimes get this where I feel like I've met an angel, they were supposed to come into my life, I get told about stuff, realigned, I realign him and then boom, off you go. I might never see him again, but he was feeding off my energy and it was epic, it was so good. Anyway, so now I'm at the Mondrian Hotel in London and um, this is where the TV BAFTA prep happens, so it's like big beauty suites. Um, the Mondrian is interior designed by Tom Dixon who is a chic interior designer. Um, can we just hey, uh, take a moment to talk about how amazing this bathroom is? So, cheeky sun to pay products in there. How lush is this shower? This is at the Mondrian Hotel. Um, mirror, bath, all marble. It's just amazing. Oh my god, I died for that stool. That stool! And then this is a suite where I'm working today. A little tanning tent. Um, that bed's really cute. And then we go up here. Look, little balcony. Um, oh, hi London. Hi St Paul's. Hi really blue and gorgeous Thames. So just a little pit stop uh, late lunch dinner. Um, burrata and then sea bass with a view. So I'm now ready to go to the TV BAFTAs. I am wearing what can only be described as a tablecloth from the 90s and um, everyone's in our room pre-lashing on bubbles and I'm trying to be good because, well, famous last words, God knows what's going to happen. Um, but here we go, let's get in the car and let's go to the red carpet. Hi Floggett. Oh, hi, hi. say hi. Oh. Oh, we're in Hi, the vloggettes! Uh, fans or followers, <laughs> subscribers, vloggettes will do. This is Caroline. Hello. For those for those followers in America, they might not know who you are. Hi. She is um, the devil reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, and potentially a bad influence tonight. Always bad influence. Oh, um, we are off to the TV BAFTAs now and we are in the car. I've been really good. I've not drank anything. And this is the first time that I've done a red carpet where I haven't drank a thing. Jules so I'm like, looks uber cool. Well, I, everyone, else is, everyone else has gone a little bit glitzy as it's black tie, so we should, and it's BAFTA. But Jules rocks up in... In a tablecloth! In a tablecloth, but with a salmon pink jacket, which not many people could pull off. <laughs> Look who I've just run into on the red carpet. Alice Levine! You look so nice! Yeah. Yeah. Do I look really tan? Yeah. <laughs> not next to me. 
this week and um, yes. next week uh, is going to be even better. It only gets better. <laughs> naked vlog! Well, kind of naked but not. But anyway, um, last night's TV BAFTAs was really good fun. Um, highlights, getting recognised on the red carpet by someone who listens to my podcast and watches my YouTube. That was like mental. Um, and what else is my highlight? Maybe having a little bump and grind a bit later on. But... The TV BAFTAs, like, it's a really weird event. Like, you go down the red carpet, like, walk around, and then it's a bit intense. Like, everyone's there, and you're like, God. Um, and it was so hot. You go inside, sit down at the ceremony, and then after the ceremony, which kind of drags, let's just say that, um, you go down to the dinner, which is a bit like a wedding, but it's nice. Like, there's tables everywhere. It's all very grand and fancy. And then everyone just lashes up, but because I'm trying to do this, like, no sugar thing, um, I wasn't really lashing up and I wasn't really eating loads of the food because it was really sugary. Um, so I actually feel okay today. Like, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Although, Shampers obviously does contain sugar because this morning I woke up and I was like, ow, my head. That's weird. That normally doesn't happen for me. But now I'm packing for Vietnam. Um, and I'm so excited to see Jake, I've not seen him for so long. I'm very concerned that Jake's gonna come back and just look at this house and be like, have trolls been living here? Why is it not immaculate and clean? Um, bags of stuff everywhere and I thought I'd have time to do it and I'm now running around going, oh crap, I don't. I'm gonna vlog on holiday but maybe stay tuned on my Snapchat because that'll be the best place to follow me on an hourly basis, I imagine. Apologies that there hasn't been loads of vlogging this week, but I have been very, very, very busy. Um, and now I'm going on holiday. Yippee! Loads of love, bye!